u square plus u minus 2v minus 1 the whole square equals minus 4vu plus v it's a very tough question when just u and v and only one equation and a quadratic thrown in for good measure but if you look at the choices these are all numbers so there's something here that we need to need to crack right so first up let's ex expand this you know a plus b plus c whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca if you didn't know this also we could have just multiplied it and got to the answer this is not a deal breaker right let's plug this in the left hand side is u square plus u square plus 4v square plus 1 u into minus 2v is minus 2uv so minus 4uv minus 2u plus 4v equals minus 4vu minus 4v square into minus 4uv minus 4uv gets cancelled so this is 2u square plus 4v square minus 2u plus 4v plus 4v square plus 1 equal to 0 I'm bringing everything onto the same side and so so now the interesting part here straight away the moment you see this and this and see the choices you've got to have a sense of the method the method here is completion of squares Fine. straight away you've got to say I'm going to deal with two quadratic in some form either a u plus v whole square or a u minus 2 plus v plus 2 the whole square there's a uv term that you're dealing with u plus 2v or u minus 2v the whole square something like that there are no uv terms the u's come together the v's come together and then we try to simplify and that's important to kind of register that otherwise it becomes an impossibly tough question right now think about this so let's carve out the u together so it is 2u square minus 2u let's carve out the v together 8v square plus 4v add it together these add up to minus 1. Right. So 8v square is not anything square. Right. 2v the whole square is 4v square. u square is root 2u the whole square. So I'm going to take out a, a 2 from here and a 2 from here and then try to simplify this. So what have we got here? 2 times u square minus u plus 2 times 4v square plus 2v equals minus 1 and u square minus u is part of u minus 1 by 2 the whole square u square minus half into 2 into u which becomes u so this is u square minus u plus 1 by 4 so there are plus 1 by 4 sitting inside then this becomes a nice square I'm adding 1 by 4 so I should add 1 by 4 this side as well. It's not just 1 by 4, it's 1 by 4 into 2. So I'm adding that 1 by 2 here. Exact same funda here. We have 4v, that is 2v plus something, the whole square is 4v square plus 2v plus something. 2v into 1 is 2v. So 2ab term will have 4v. We have only a 2v here. So this should be plus 1 by 2. To have a 2v term here once again we are adding 1 by 4 1 by 4 inside like this that means it's a half i add a half wonderful i completely relish the fact that this boils down to zero you'll see why this is nothing but two times u minus half the whole square plus two times 2v plus half the whole square equal to zero something square plus something square is zero a square cannot be negative that means this is equal to zero this is equal to zero or u is half v is minus one by four two v is minus half v is minus one by four so we want to find u plus three v that is one by two minus three by four 
which is minus 1 by 4, which is this value. Absolutely wonderful question. First up, we'll need to expand and simplify. Bring everything to one side equal to 0. Pick the idea that we're dealing with completion of squares. Whenever you're dealing with quadratic, the completion of squares idea should be there at the back of your mind. Right? So anytime you have quadratic expressions, there are only two tricks, major tricks in your rule bag. First one is factorizing. Second one is completion of squares. One of these two will come of use generally. If you cannot square factorize, look to complete the squares. And so if you complete the squares, this giant expression is nothing but this. And then you're through. Incredibly tough question. You're probably better advised skipping this question in the exam, uh, which is something I did not do. I spent time trying to crack it. I knew fully well I was looking for something like this. Messed up my algebra, so didn't get it and then um, lost a lot of time. Otherwise, wonderful question.